Hello everyone. I am Dr. Soumya Podwal. I am a practicing uh, physician. Sodium is an essential nutrient in our body that helps to maintain the fluid balance, blood pressure, and nerve and muscle function. The normal levels of sodium in our body is between one thirty five to one forty five milliequivalent per liter. Common causes of sodium imbalance in our body are uh, vomiting, diarrhea, burns, trauma, hypothyroidism, diseases like. Uh, cardiac failure kidney diseases and cirrhosis of liver and certain drugs also lead to sodium imbalance in our body so sodium imbalance in our body causes a wide range of symptoms in mild cases you have nausea and malaise uh, in moderate cases you can have headache uh, drowsiness decreased level of consciousness and in severe cases of sodium imbalance you can have uh, seizures loss of consciousness coma and in extreme cases uh, a person can uh, die too because of brain edema sodium can be easily checked in the blood and the urine so you have the serum sodium levels in the which you check in the blood and for urine you have uh, urinary sodium levels along with that certain other uh, tests are also done like serum osmolarity and urine osmolarity so they all help in uh, diagnosing sodium imbalance and also to uh, help in knowing the cause untreated sodium imbalance so sodium imbalance causes uh, brain edema that it causes increase in the intracranial pressure so it can lead to a sudden onset of seizure activity it can cause brain herniation brain edema respiratory failure brain hemorrhages and coma and death so it's a very important uh, to have the sodium levels in the normal range so low sodium levels in our body is called known as hyponatremia and high sodium levels that is above 145 milliequivalent per liter is known as hypernatremia so depending on the underlying cause hyponatremia can be treated with iv hypertonic saline that is a concentrated uh, so sodium solution uh, also you can increase the salt intake in the diet and uh, there are certain medicines like tolvaptin which can be given in certain medical conditions which help in increasing the sodium levels for hypernatremia uh, providing free water that is water without electrolytes or by giving iv dextrose containing saline so salines which have dextrose in them and low sodium in, as a content in the saline can happen to anyone but it is mostly uh, seen it is quite commonly seen in the elderly population that is the geriatric population because they uh, have more uh, chances of having low or high intake or you know decreased fluid intake and they have underlying diseases also uh, which makes them more vulnerable for sodium imbalance and so elderly population is uh, very commonly suffering from sodium imbalance